Uh, this is W6FCC. We're going to go through a couple of uh, quick tuning methods here on uh, 40 meters. I've let this scope run a while. It's running at uh, the slowest possible speed. Uh, I have the uh, pre preamp off on the radio. I have the uh, RF gain all the way. And this station is in Indiana that I'm working through here from California. And you can tell a lot on this scope about what's going on here. Uh, you can tell AM signals with these bright lines down the middle. Uh, you can tell this is that interim transmissions of uh, people trying to make uh, contacts on very low power. You have CW. Uh, you've got some areas that are fairly open, not a whole lot going on, or at least I can't hear a whole lot here. You have an occasional static crash, that's what these horizontal lines are. And uh, other than that, I've set the scope up so that the uh, the main the, the main uh, color is uh, is green you can see this here I've said fill plus line and I've set the waveform I don't care about seeing the mountains and valleys but I do want to see the waveform color as being bright and then I'm not using max hold at all I use the carrier point absolute frequency and you'll see how that uh, how that helps you here in a second Okay, now you notice down at the bottom, here's a 7 and here's 7.3, and so you can kind of tell where things are happening. This is at 7075, then we have stations here at 7.25, sorry, 7.2, what is that, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7.25. So let's listen to a couple of these and see how fast you can tune them. Now I'm going to tune them in only with the mouse. So here's one, let's tune this guy in. And I'm going to put it in AM mode. Not too interesting, but that's an AM signal. Let's try this AM signal. Weak. It's another one. This is sideband. So let me go back to sideband mode. And you can tell, since we're in lower sideband, the signals you are going to hear are going to be below this R, which is the receiver. Uh, frequency. So let me pick, uh, well here, let's put this here in this one. This is that, I'm sure you've heard this before. That's people trying to make contacts using uh, some digital modes. You can kind of tell here this is CW. Turn it up a little bit. And then here's probably more CW. So you can kind of tell as I'm moving this R along here, and they're easy to identify. Then this is clearly sideband, so let me click on the top side of this. Almost tuned it in perfectly without doing anything. Yeah, he's got a pretty good signal, he's S9. Let me try another one here. This is obviously sideband. Let's see what we have here. That signal just went away, but you can see the history. So you can tell here we're on this frequency. So that's some of the stuff you can do. If you know what you're looking at here, you don't have to uh, be twisting dials a whole lot. You can use your mouse. Now let's just take a signal and let's see what the modulation looks like. Now as soon as I change to center, all of this data in the scope is going to disappear. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to uh, go to a frequency here where we had some sideband activity like... Uh, leave it here. Put it in fixed mode and now you can see that we're looking at a plus and minus five. That transmission is going from the, the, the center frequency down about one, two, three. This is, this is kind of a wide signal. I don't know why he's transmitting above the frequency. That could be another station. But that's what it's supposed to look like when you're in lower sideband. And uh, you can see we're on 7168. He's got an S9 
plus 25 signal. Yeah. And uh, this is a good use. This is a good use of the scope. So there you go. Learn to use the scope. It's excellent. The center scope is good for looking at your own transmissions. Let me uh, let me go back over here. I'll just find a temporarily uh, unbusy signal, like here. Go into the center mode, and I'll just transmit real briefly. W6FCC testing. Uh, you can see your own signals if you uh, are in center mode. If you have set up this to uh, put the scope in when you're transmitting in center type, I've turned that on, turned off max hold. So a couple things to do with the scopes. They're very good. Uh, I like to run this one slowly, so if I leave and go get something, come back, I can see what the activity was on the band while I was away. There you go. W6FCC. It's uh, one day after tax day, March or April 16th, 2019. Hope everybody has a good evening.